Hi guys, so today I'm making this sign here and if you want to learn how to make it just go ahead and keep watching the video. In the video I use a miter saw but you can pretty much use any saw that you have. A handheld saw works just fine and um, the reason that I decided to make this is because one of my really good friends ordered it off of our Etsy page and I will link that down below if you're interested. So this is also my first YouTube video so go ahead and leave me a comment let me know if you like this video and let's just get started so I looked through my wood pile and I found these three pieces of wood and the great thing about this project is that you don't have to use perfect pieces like this one it's like broken on the side and it's not all the same width which I really like because it adds more character. So for this video, I will list everything you need below because I didn't really show in the beginning. We get our wood from pallets and my husband and I take them apart ourselves. So if you want to see a video on how we do that, just let me know and we can work something out. The pieces I'm using are two and a half feet long, but the great thing about making things yourself is you can customize it to whatever size. So I do wear goggles when I use the miter saw because I have sensitive eyes and I do recommend if you have sensitive eyes to wear goggles. I know they're not the coolest, but it's a lot better than getting wood shavings in your eye, which has happened to me before. It is not fun. So now I'm going to take this smaller piece that I measured to the height of the sign and I'm going to cut it in half. Notice that this board is wider than the ones I'm using for the front of the sign. So you can either use a wide board or you can use two thin pieces of wood. You don't really have to use a wide board and cut it in half, but that's just what I did for this video. So now that we have all of our pieces the right length, we are going to put it together. So I'm just going to take drywall screws, they're size eight, eight and a half, and I'm going to put one in each board. And also I kind of go at an angle when I do it so that they don't poke through the front because sometimes, well with the boards that I use, they're not all the same thickness, so if I have a thinner board, they will poke through the front. So that's just another little tip for you guys. And I will go back over and put more screws in it just to make sure that it holds up well and it holds up for a long time and lasts. So I already did the other side of the sign and put screws in it. So we're just going to go ahead and flip the sign over and begin. For this part, make sure that you have a hot glue gun and enough glue sticks. Also, we're going to be using some thick twine and you can just get this from Walmart in the DIY or craft section. All right, now I'm going turbo speed because this took me a very long time to do and it was like 20 minutes and nobody wants to sit through that and watch that. There's my L guys, we're looking good. And I'm also using some scissors to help clean up the excess glue on the edges and just keep it looking clean. So now I'm connecting the end of the rope of the heart where I cut it. And I'm just going to make sure that it's tucked in and it doesn't look frayed, it looks really nice and clean. I'm using scissors to 
touch the hot glue again because I don't want to burn my fingers. And now I'm just going to take some leftover twine and I'm making knots in each end. And I'll flip my sign over and put two staples in each side right next to the knots to make a hanger for my sign. And I really like this because we're not using any extra materials. So the stapler that I'm using is just a heavy duty Stanley stapler and I got it from Walmart. I mean, it's pretty cheap if you don't have one. It works great. I use it all the time for all my crafts. And there's our sign. I think it came out really great. It has a ton of character, which I love. And you can't beat handmade crafts, in my opinion. And now I'm just going to staple our card to the back and send it off in the mail. Alright, so we are trying to find some good pieces of wood for our project. And we have some wood here. But I'm really looking for a super rustic look. And that one has a bunch of cracks in it, so when you're choosing your wood, try not to get um, too many, a piece of wood with too many cracks in it. I really like this gray color. So I'll keep that. Sorry if this is loud. Um, and that's a good gray color too. I like the gray pieces because it just makes it look a lot more rustic in the sense that it looks like it's been sitting outside for years. <laughs> it's really just been sitting in my garage. And we're just going to get... Three pieces. Yeah, we're just going to use these three pieces and line them up. Measure them out and cut them to size. 